Top billing. Top billing. All right, Top Bill, I want to try something a little different out here. I think people sometimes get my lingo misconstrued, right? So when I talk about zero to 60 time, I'm talking about how quick a person can get up to full speed. It's not a clear determination of how fast they are. It's just only how quick they can get up to full speed. So let's show you a good example right here. Um, I'm a huge track and field nut. I can tell you everything about track and field. Now check this out right here. We'll we'll break this down like we're breaking down football, right? So we'll go to, through the full race first. All right, so we clearly see who's gonna win this, right? Christian Coleman, Tennessee. Everybody knows him, so right? He's gonna win this. No, did not win. All right, so let's put this in slow motion and break it down. All right, so off the jump right here. If we look at it right here. You see, this is where the race is between right here. The two of the fastest cats. These are the next two fastest cats. There's a couple of other guys that are in there with them as well. But these guys are, are probably one and two to me right here. So you got Christian Coleman. Everybody knows him from Tennessee. They would show his stuff a lot on SEC football. And um, you have Noah Lyles right here. Uh, right out of high school to the pros. So we look at this around 40 meters, which is roughly equivalent right to the 40 yard dash you can see that christian coleman is clearly faster than him so if this were right right around here right so check this out you would say oh no nah, he's not really in christian coleman's lead right you know why because christian coleman's zero to 60 is a lot better than noah lyle's right zero to 60 is a lot better but that doesn't mean he's faster in a football sense because they measure just a certain amount of distance 40 yards you would take a guy who's running like a 4 4 4 3 or something like that and automatically believe he's faster than a guy but my next thing that i always talk about is top end speed and somebody's top end speed could be vastly superior to someone's zero to 60 speed and they end up being a faster person like this right here now look at this same thing right here where are we at? About probably about 50 meters or something like that. Clearly, Christian Coleman looks faster than everybody because his zero to 60 speed is the best in the world, right? But this guy's top end speed is the best in the world. And you can see him visibly track down Christian Coleman. Look at this. That's amazing. Look at that. That is freaking amazing. Now that's top end speed, right? So when we talk about who's faster than somebody, we have to segment it out. You have to do that. So I'm gonna put this to a football example. So look at that right there. All right, so we all know who J.K. Dobbins is, a very good running back for Ohio State. He's somebody that I would consider quicker than fast. Now check this out. He was clocked at a 4.45 40 yard dash at the Nike opening. So you consider him to be pretty fast, right? 4.4 back, um, probably 5.11, 205, 210 or something like that. Uh, maybe even a little heavier than that, maybe like 215. However, what you notice about him and his 4 5 speed is, or 4 4 5 speed, he always gets caught from behind. Now, check this out. All right, boom, breaks a tackle inside zone, off to the races. He's gone, right? No, I can tell by just by being a track guy and looking at his stride that he's not running that fast. And you see him caught from behind. One more time breaks that bad boy now look at this so we had the travis etn video with deandre swift and people were talking about erasing angles and everything like that now this this guy does not have an angle on on jk dobbins now wait he may have a couple of steps on him jk dobbins is not running his to his direction jk dobbins is headed this way so jc jk dobbins technically has a step on him because of where he's going so this guy has to cover a lot of ground to be able to catch jk dobbins so we don't know how fast this guy is but regardless uh he shouldn't be getting caught like this now check that out right there he just doesn't have good top end speed now ohio state fans are gonna come here all mad and stuff like that but i'm just i'm just giving an example i'm not saying jk dobbins sucks or anything like that he's actually very good we're just talking about the speed aspect he's got really good zero to 60 he gets up to speed real fast but his top end speed is lacking to me now this the people are gonna say this is one run go look at all his runs uh, his longest runs last year, it was 42 yards, 28 and 21. So he didn't have a good year last year. His first year, this was a 77 yard run. Then he had a, a couple of 52 yard runs. But on both 52 yard runs, they were touchdowns, but he was caught and touched 
Like one of them, he stiffed armed somebody when they got to him. The other one, they they kind of swiped his leg and he jumped and, and dove into the end zone. So I'm not making anything up or being or using um, a small sample size. All right, now I want you to watch Derrick Henry, nearly six foot three, nearly 250 pounds. And he runs this 40. Check it out. Four, five, four. So you would look at a four, five, four and think like, yeah, J.K. Dobbins is way faster than Derrick Henry. Uh, no. Derrick Henry was known for long runs and he known runs against very good defenses as well. So he had runs of 80, 70, 60, 50, a lot of them. And he's still doing that in the NFL because he has crazy top end speed. His zero to 60 is average, but his top end speed is phenomenal. Check it out. You can always see him visibly leaving players. Look at this. Tavis Calhoun. Nope. Can't get a can't get a step on him. Go back. Look at Tavis Calhoun. He's a defensive back chasing his man. Right? Two of them. Can't get a step on him. Alright, same thing right here. 80 yards. Jump cut. Look at this. Now people have angles on him on this one, right? It does not matter. Fast people erase angles, and you see him visibly leaving people. It's not like that dude's not trying either. Check that out. This guy's running hard. These are defensive. All three of these guys in the frame are defensive backs, and this guy's nearly 250 pounds, right? It doesn't matter. He erases angles. Top end speed. He's looking like he's running fast, but his stride length, because he's a taller back, right? So do you guys get that? Let me know in the comment section. Give me some examples of guys with good zero to 60 to you and guys with great top end speed that may have a 40 yard dash that isn't as good, all right? So trying to get you guys ready for the season so we can talk some ball. Only real football heads allowed. You know what I mean? Hashtag real men watch to the end and everything like that. If you a sucker too, man, stay off my damn channel, man. This channel is sucker free. You know I don't like talking to you dudes, and it's free content, man. That means you can go elsewhere. You don't gotta have what you want, right? It's free content, man. Nobody asks you to be here. But it's top billing sports. You already know what time it is. Thank you for watching. Peace. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.